everyone, it's Robin here, and I'm pretty excited today because today we have a very special Disney Mystery Pin unboxing because we will be going out with the old with the 2020 Mystery Pins and in with the new with the new 2021 Mystery Pins. So I'm pretty excited about both of these sets. So you know what? Let's just get these pins opened. So out with the old with these 2020 mystery pins. Oh my gosh, wouldn't we love to throw 2020 out the window? Well, we actually kind of did when the new year happened, right? It's gone now. <laughs> but I wanna focus on some of the more positive things that happened in 2020, at least for me. Now, while I did take a break from my YouTube channel in the beginning of 2020, it lasted a little longer than anticipated. It was only supposed to be a couple of weeks and it lasted four months. So many things were happening in the first four months of the year. But I came back, which I was really excited about, and I'm even more excited because you all came back too. So thank you all very much. I appreciate each and every one of you, every one of your comments, every one of your likes, every one of your views. I just appreciate you guys hanging it out with me. And you know, this is why we have such fun, right? We are definitely a fun group. Another great thing that happened in 2020 is that because through my YouTube channel, I made a lot of new friends with doing different collaborations with other Disney YouTubers. Um, well, I had some ongoing collaborations. I did a lot with Princess Minnie. Her and I have been friends for three years. I had an ongoing collaboration with the Disney sisters. We do a lot of planner stuff together. So those I definitely are dear to my heart. I'm so thankful for, but a lot of new collaborations too. One of my favorite collaborations I did last year was the 2020 Disney Boo Ball that was put on by Beth from the Collectioners Club. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. I met so many people through that collaboration that my heart is full. Now, if you missed it, you you know, I will put the link down below, but don't worry, I'm the Cheshire Cat. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. And then, oh my gosh, another thing that happened that was fabulous is that we were able to help my daughter Holly and her husband Dayon and that cute grandbaby Aiden move here from Southern California and they're near to us. Now Rod and I have five kids together and we have two of them here now. So we just keep telling them all to meet me in St. Louis and you know, they're starting to come. <laughs> so hopefully we'll get more, you know, that's my goal in life, right? So 2020 wasn't all bad. I definitely had some good things happening, but you know what? Let's look at this pack of pins because I really want to see what we got going on in here. So here is the front of this fateful box 2020. And I remember when this box came out, I wasn't too sure what I thought about these pins. There are eight pins in this collection, but what I did love about these pins were that there's a lot of very interesting characters featured here such as we have a Br'er Rabbit here. We have Jack-Jack, isn't he adorable? We have Chip, we have Simba, we have Mushu and Sebastian, love both of them. We have Winnie the Pooh, so adorable. And of course, Jack Skellington, who is quickly becoming one of my favorite characters, thanks to Kate from Princess Minnie. <laughs> so this pin collection is kind of fun because I love that they have such crazy characters on here that you don't usually see on these pens, so the characters aren't crazy. But um, I would like to see today, that Br'er Rabbit's cute, he's been popular this year with the idea that Splash Mountain's closing, right? So he's always a good one to want to get. I would like to see Jack Skellington. Um, I do love me Mushu and Sebastian. So there are two pins in here. Maybe we can get one of those four that we talked about, right? So our first pen, first of all, what are you hoping for? Okay, let's see if we get it. And our first pen is, oh, well, we kind of hit one. We have Sebastian. Isn't he cute? I don't know. He is my favorite character from Little Mermaid. I just love that Caribbean guy and his island vibes. All his songs are fabulous. And for me, that's the best part of that entire movie. Let me show you this pen up close. Yeah, he's pretty cute. So look at how cute Sebastian is poking out of the zero in 2020 with his little claws there. He is really the cutest crustacean Disney has for sure. And one of my very favorite characters. He's probably in my top 10 list. I kind of like Sebastian. He's definitely my favorite character from Little Mermaid. And I love the song Under the Sea. Well, let me let you take a look at the back of this pin first. You can see they are silver in tone. We have some Mickey waffling going across and one pin post. So like I said, Under the Sea, Under the Sea is definitely one of my favorite Disney songs. While we devoting full time to floating under the sea. Ah, love that song and this pin is really fun to have. So yeah, love those island vibes, you know. 
I'm in love with all of Moana too because of the island vibes. So, you know, uh, that and then the sea part of Little Mermaid, yeah, really gets to me. Okay, we have another pin. So let's see which one we're gonna get here. Who will it be? Who will it be? Oh my gosh, pair, side by side. We also have Mushu, who is another one of my favorite characters. Love him in Mulan. Missed him in the live action, but actually I thought the live action Mulan, which I did see in 2020, was beautiful. I thought the movie itself was beautiful. I think for me, it just missed a little mark with was it going to be a full on drama, beautiful film, or was it going to be a Disney princess film? I feel like they didn't quite make the decision and it played in the middle of the road and you didn't get enough of either of them. So that was just my thing with it, but the film was beautiful. And uh, Mushu is certainly awesome. Let me show you this pin. So yeah, we could all use a little Mushu guardian in our lives, couldn't we? I certainly would love one. And he is really adorable here, Ugh, love him. So he's voiced by Eddie Murphy, which is really fun. And oftentimes when I'm watching it though, all I can see is Donkey from Shrek. <laughs> because I love that character too. But uh, yeah, he is pretty cute, love this. So these are two great pins and really two of my favorite pins in this box. So we are doing really well with ushering out 2020. So I'm pretty happy about this. Okay, let's ring in 2021 with the new 2021 pins. Now these pins were released in Disney probably in late November. I would think, you know, that whole time period gets that Christmas fog for me. So it's hard to know, but I think it was late November. And um, I had my friend Alicia pick this box up for me. Alicia does pin pickups in my Facebook group. Oh, hello, Robin, Disney pins and more. And while we're on that, we're actually doing pin trading days starting tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, January 6th and 7th. So if you're interested in pin trading, come on over to my Facebook group. I'll leave a link down below and you can get in on some trading action there. So uh, these pins, these pins are kind of cute too. Now 2021, I have a lot of hope for 2021. You know, isn't that the way it is in the beginning of the year? I have a lot of goals in mind and things that I'm looking forward to. Now, if you saw my recent plan with me video on Sunday, I'll link it below if you haven't. I was talking about one such goal that I have for this year and I want to do more reading. Oh my gosh, I reading fell away from me for like two years and I just need to get back into it because I love reading and I love books. I collect books and you know, they're just sitting around and I'm not reading them. So uh, one big goal that I have is reading and I just also filled out my Goodreads profile. So I don't have very many books on there. I have a few friends now though, I'm really excited. I will leave that link down below too if you wanna hang out with me on Goodreads because that'll be fun. And so you will probably get more book content here on the channel as I'm going through this goal and this journey this year through reading and books. And I hope you join me for that. Some other ideas that I have going forward, I want to do more DIYs and crafts. I just love crafting and I think that would be really fun on this channel. And I want to do more planner type videos, the plan with me's for the weeks, uh, some recipe plans and even some memory plans and also making some special pages for planners. Planners are a huge part of my life and I love sharing that with you. Not only the sticker part because that's kind of a creative outlet, but the planner itself is a great place to write down a lot of these goals and ideas and dreams and hopes and put plans in place to make sure they happen so that we're living the life that we really want to live. So I want to share that this year too, but we will also be doing Disney pins because seriously, Disney pins are the best thing ever in the world ever made, right? <laughs> I love the Disney pen. So that's my hope for our future. I want to uh, be inspired and I want to inspire. And that word inspire is my one little word for 2021. And that's just gonna be with me all year long. And I'm pretty excited about that. So let's check out what's in this 2021 box because I'm also pretty excited about the characters here. The front of this box is a beautiful blue color and I really love how Mickey's just uh, poking his face up there, super cute. Now there are eight pins in this collection also and check out the awesome characters that are here. So we have the possibility of getting Scrooge McDuck, which that's amazing. Want that pin. Panchito from Three Caballeros, love that pin too. We also have a Professor 
Ludwig von Drake. I am obsessed and want that pin desperately. We have Steamboat Willie here. We have Casey Jr. Train. Woohoo! <laughs> That's the sound he makes at Disneyland. So, so much fun. We have Sorcerer Mickey, of course. And then at the bottom, we have some nemesis of Mickey. We have Pig Leg Pete and Mortimer Mouse. So this collection is pretty sweet. I'm pretty obsessed with this Professor Ludwig von Drake. I want that pin badly. I also want Ebenezer Scrooge and I want Panchito. And that's a problem because there's only two pins in here and I've named three. And uh, the rest are also really cute and fun. The coloring on these pins are fun. They're bright and you know color blocky and that type of thing. They do look different. Well, we'll, sh we'll, we'll compare them afterwards after I open them. But yeah, I really want Professor Ludwig von Drake. So I'm saying that way too much. So, oh no, oh no. So there are two pins in here. Here they are. And we'll see which our first pin for 2021 will be. What will our year be like, right? And we have here, oh my gosh. Okay, this is fun because he kind of falls in line a little bit with Sebastian because he's very musical. And we have Panchito from the Three Caballeros. I couldn't be more excited about this pin. Well, maybe if it was Professor von... Ludwig von Drake, maybe, but Panchito is freaking amazing. Let me show you this pin. Ah, so cute. So here we have Panchito from the Three Caballeros. Oh, he is super cute. Now, uh, Rod and I have stayed at Coronado Springs quite a few times, and Panchito is definitely hanging out there quite a bit uh, in their decor. So he's really fun. I would have loved all the Caballeros because that would be amazing, but Panchito is a uh, really cute for sure. Look, he's got a little guitar. Now the backs of these pins are also silver based with one pin post with the Mickey waffling heads. And uh, yeah, this is a pretty fun pin. Ah, super excited. We're three caballeros. Oh, so much fun. I also love the Grand Fiesta Tour in Epcot's Mexico Pavilion. I just love that entire Mexico Pavilion for sure. Love that pavilion. Super fun. And uh, yeah, Panchito, really fun. Now let's see what our other pin is from here. Very excited. Oh, who are we gonna get? I want one of those ducks. <laughs> oh, a life for a duck. Do you think we can get it? <laughs> no, but we got a very awesome pin because no one ever can be upset when getting Sorcerer Mickey. That's for an amazing year. He's gonna sorcerer up all his magic and make 2021 phantasmic, right? <laughs> yeah, I know, it was a little cheesy, but let me show you the pin. So check out Sorcerer Mickey. He is super awesome with all the color blocking going on. His pin is really pretty too, but he is standing there just ready to take on 2021, which is something that we definitely need, right? Yeah, <laughs> this is a really cute pin. So these pins are really cute. What I like about them too is the color blocking on them. I mean, they're very vibrant primary colors, but they're different. The 2021s are different. Let me show you. So the 20 and 21 color blocking is different colors as well as the background for the pin. So each pin will be a little different in that respect so that's pretty cool let me show you it compared to the 2020 pins we'll hold up my two musical friends here so we have Sebastian for 2020 and Panchito for 2021 and they both have uh, very bright coloring and they're very similar in size the 2021s might be a little larger but that's probably because they're more square but yeah they're very they're kind of similar right sort of in a way but they're really cute. Oh, I'm so excited with these fun characters. So I just got some great pins. I think my favorite though, uh, well, it's gonna be Panchito for 2021 for sure. Love Panchito. He's, you don't get him a lot on the pins, so I'm pretty excited about that. Sorcerer Mickey's awesome too, but you do see Sorcerer Mickey a lot. So I'm all about Panchito. I'm also loving this Sebastian pin, my two, my two musicians, right? <laughs> Maybe it'll be a musical year. I don't know. <laughs> I'm super excited about 2021 and everything that we have to come. Oh my gosh, it'll be a great year. I hope you decide to hang out with me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe because I'd love to have you as part of my family and we will be doing some awesome, awesome things here. Oh my gosh, this has been so much fun. Let me know down below which pin from today was your favorite and what are you looking forward to in 2021? I'd love to hear about that too. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a magical day and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.